I was about to do my makeup and then I realized I got a new beauty blender and this is what my current one looks like. I have no idea what color it was before it turned into this. So we're gonna cut it and see what color it was before I used it for three years. I've been wondering why I've been breaking out recently. I struggle with acne a lot around my chin area and it started to come onto my cheeks. And I have never had cheek acne so I've been trying to think of where this is coming from. And then I realized I've had the same beauty blender for three years. I don't know why I'm so excited for this. And I'm pretty sure it was a pink one like this before. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, I think I've had it too long that like the foundation seeped inside of it. Oh my gosh, there's makeup coming. <gasps> this is like giving me a whole base of foundation. I probably shouldn't have done that because now I'm probably going to break out even more. It's giving full coverage though, but I couldn't tell you what that is. Oh well, that's a bit disappointing, but at least we got a new beauty blender. That's not going to break me out anymore. Come and take my kitten on a walk in London. I actually haven't taken him out into the city yet and I think he's ready. I think he's had enough training. I need to go grab his leash, so let me go grab it quick. Okay, here's his little leash. Now let's put it on. He's all ready to go outside. I'm just scared someone's gonna try to steal him. Oh, he's falling asleep. Hello? Come on then, baby, let's go. <laughs> oh, he hates the dog. Oh, okay. he's so angry. <laughs> he hated that dog. I'm carrying him to Blank Street Coffee. Okay, we're gonna get a little coffee now. Blank Street, baby, Blank Street, baby. <laughs> he's got fans. Everyone thinks he's a girl though. Ooh, coffee. Yeah! You go on the cake. <laughs> Matcha! Yum yum! Okay guys, I finally named my little baby and I'm gonna tell you his name in this video. Also, I'm literally making pasta right now, so yeah, I'm not a cook, I'm not Nara Smith, so just like let me make my pasta. I finally figured out a name, it was so hard, but I decided to call him and like say all of the names and see which one he was reacting to. So his name is basically the name that he chose. Yeah, I feel like his name really suits him and I have a feeling everyone's gonna hate it. But to be honest, I don't care because he likes the name. Obviously though, I am hoping that people like it because I think it's really cute. Okay, my pasta's done, now I'm ready to tell you his name. Hello baby, let's go. Okay. Look how good that is. Okay, guys, his name is Cake. I know, I know. Reasoning why I came up with the name Cake is because I watch Adventure Time all the time. And there's this one episode where Finn and Jake turn into a cat and a girl. And the cat's called Cake. But yeah, please don't hate it because I find it so cute. Here's your food. <sighs> yummy, yummy. Yum, yum, yum. He's so cute. Okay, I'm just going to have to eat my food while standing up now. Get ready with me for the Euros 2024. I'm hosting a watch party and I'm so glad that AliExpress exists because I got everything I need from there. I'm so excited to use these products for the watch party. Like, look at how cute this mini fridge is. It's gonna be perfect for keeping the drinks cold during the match. I also have a cat and I didn't want him to feel left out. So I got him this cat feeder so he can join in and have some snacks while the game's going on. And then lastly, I got a portable charger because the last thing that you want is having to leave mid-game to go charge your phone. Not only are AliExpress official sponsors for the euros this year they are also sponsoring this video i love aliexpress because you can spend less and get more they have so many products to choose from with great prices as fast delivery on time and guaranteed free shipping as well as a return service and as i start to finish setting everything up i need to tell you about the aliexpress app aliexpress is an official sponsor of the euros 2024 and if you download the app you have a chance to shake to win where you are able to win from millions of prizes if you download the app and if you like the look of my pet feeder or the mini fridge or this portable charger or just want to 
gonna do a bit of shopping while you're at it. You can shop everything you need for the Euros 2024 on AliExpress. I think it's finally time to get rid of it and it's actually making me really sad. I have had this nose ring since I was 15. For like four years now, but I'm starting to like really not like it. So I'm just gonna take it out. And I also have nails on, but I'm just gonna try my best because this has to come out. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know why that hurts so much. I actually think my nose is swelling up. Anyways, I'm going out for dinner, so I need to do my makeup. So let's see what I look like with my makeup done without my piercing. One thing I'm really going to struggle with is my nose contour. So how did that get down there? I almost forgot to take these off. I also wonder if anyone's going to notice that it's gone. I feel like they're not going to notice at first, but once they realise, they're going to be shocked. I do feel like my parents have been trying to get me to get rid of it for a while now. When I actually got it done, I didn't ask either of them if I could get it. I literally just turned up one day after school with a nose piercing. Honestly, I don't think my dad's even realised I got one. But to be honest, he didn't notice when I dyed my hair from blonde to black. So I'd be surprised if you noticed that my nose piercing was gone. But yeah, I'm actually really excited to see my friend's reaction. I really hope I still like my makeup without a nose piercing. Okay, let's hope that this looks okay. Now I just gotta do a little bit of highlighter. Also doing some freckles as well. Okay, the nose contour is done, but I can't help but feel like there's something missing. Anyways, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and then I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Okay, I finally finished my makeup and I think I do look better without it. Just so weird to see myself without one. Anyway, I'm so excited to see my friend's reaction and I'll keep you updated. I have a Persian kitchen and every morning I have to clean his eyes. So I'm going to show you his little cleaning routine. He's not excited for it. I'm just going to wet some cotton pads. Literally just spilt water all over me from doing that. Okay, let's go and get Kiki. Kiki! Honestly, this is his morning routine. I have my shower and he has his eyes cleaned. You got such big eyes. Oh, okay. Right, now I need to try clean his eyes. What I do is I just hold him like this. It has to be done because he's a Persian. And Persian kitchens have to have their eyes cleaned. I just really gently wet them like this. And you see all this gross stuff. And then after that, I dry them and he looks like baby Yoda now. When he was younger though, he used to hate this, but he's actually really well behaved now. And yeah, that's how I clean his little eyesies. Happy little kitten. Unbox time with me because I currently have a slime addiction. It was 3am and I was crying, so literally don't even judge me. I'm gonna do SMR now. Woo! Get ready of me to go to the Bridgerton premiere and I'm so excited because I watched the first half of the season and now I get to watch the second. Anyways, I need to get ready because I only just found out like 10 minutes ago. I generally have no idea what I'm going to wear to this. Obviously, I just found out so I haven't been able to buy a dress or anything. You need to go down. I'm just going to try find something in my wardrobe and hope for the best. My biggest fear is turning up and everyone's in Bridgerton like dresses and I'm just in like a bodycon dress. I'm just going to wait last minute to choose my outfit. The premiere starts in half an hour and I know if I start looking for outfits now I'm gonna have no time for my makeup and hair. By the way, Kate keeps climbing onto my lap. It's not helping, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup first, then my hair, and then my outfit. I will never understand the people who get dressed before. How they don't get makeup on their clothes, I will never know. Anyways, I'm so excited to watch this. I was actually gonna wait to watch the new season of Bridgerton after the second part had actually already come out because I'm so bad at waiting for this stuff. But now I'm glad that I watched the first half because now I actually know what's going on. I actually need to hurry up because I only have 20 minutes now. My makeup is almost done. I just need to do my mascara and some lips, and then I need to do my hair. Okay, my makeup is done. Now, I think for my hair, I'm just gonna have it down. I generally don't have time to do anything else. I'll come back when I've done my hair. Okay, I finished my hair and I think it looks all right. And now somehow I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I literally only have five minutes. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Get ready of me to go and get lip filler. I'm so excited because I feel like my lips are looking really small at the moment. Also, if you can hear purring, it's because my little kitty's there. Obviously, I don't need much makeup on because I need to keep this area clear. You can get an infection if there's any makeup around your lips. So obviously, I'm not gonna put any makeup on my lips today. I'm also getting my hair done tomorrow. So I feel like I'm having a glow up right now. When I dyed my hair blonde, I just glowed down. Didn't realize how bad it was until I 
I dyed my hair back black. So yeah, now I'm having to put in the work to have a glow up again. The lip filler is a part of the journey to looking hotter. I'm also gonna get my nails done today and maybe whiten my teeth because my nails are looking gross now. And also my teeth are quite yellow at the moment. So every time I get my lips done, I always forget to take the pill that stops the swelling. I was supposed to take it like four days before and every single time I forget. I'm not looking forward to the healing process this time. I might actually vlog every day to show you the healing process of getting lip filler. Just so if you're thinking about getting it, you can see what it's actually like. I just can't help but feel I look so weird without lipstick or lip liner. I think I'm just gonna do my lips and just bring my micellar water with me. Before I got lip filler, I never used to wear lip gloss or lip liner or anything really on my lips. Like it didn't suit me before and now it does. I don't know why though. I do think I've worn a bit of an extra outfit for this. But it's sunny outside and it's never sunny in London. So this is my outfit for the day. And yeah, let's go get me some new lips. I can't, I'm a bit nervous because I'm going a lot bigger this time. I'm in Ibiza and I've decided I want a tattoo. Problem is, I don't know what to get. The car is in like 20 minutes, so I need to hurry up. And the journey's like 10 minutes long, so I think I'm gonna decide what I'm getting then. Honestly, I don't know if this is the stupidest idea I've ever had or the best. But yeah, I'm gonna have a look on Pinterest and get some ideas. I am thinking of getting a hand tattoo. I've got a couple on my left hand. Well, I've got nothing on the front of it, but I have like some on my fingers and on the side. And then this one, I have nothing on it. This is definitely so impulsive though, so I'm just hoping I don't regret it. I do have a feeling I'm gonna come out with more than one though. The car's about to be here in like five minutes, so I actually need to hurry up. Okay, my makeup is done. I'm just gonna put some shorts and a top on because we're gonna come back and change for dinner. So I don't really need to dress up right now. Anyways, let's find some clothes. I'm just gonna wear these shorts and then this leopard print top. I'm also gonna put on this little belt. And then I also got these cowboy boots that I haven't worn yet, so I'm gonna put them on. Got them on. Okay, I'm all ready, so let's go get some tattoos. Woohoo! I'm gonna go try the famous matcha in London and I'm a little bit nervous because I've never had matcha before. Also, I literally just got my lips done, so please ignore my lips for now. Okay, I see it. It actually seems busy. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. I think I might just get them all. Hi, can I get the matcha latte? The blueberry matcha, the golden matcha, and the white chocolate matchas. All of them. I'm also gonna get one of these. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now we just go wait for the matcha. <laughs> I've got to accept. That's like a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm going to try the golden matcha. I'm going to try it. Oh, that's good. This one is my least favorite so far. I'm giving this a 2 out of 10. Okay, this is an ad bag. I'm going to give it like 6 out of 10. It's basically a packing milk. And the last one is a blueberry matcha. I'm so excited for this one. Okay, anyone can give this one a 9 out of 10. Anyways, I'm going to try this one now. Okay, that's the best one I've ever had. Just drank 3 matches and I feel sick. I actually feel really sick. I can't lie though, I still don't know how to feel about matcha. But if I was gonna get it again, I'd get the white chocolate 100%. I don't know why everyone was raving about the blueberry one. They get dressed for me to go to the horse races for the first time and I have no idea what to wear. So yeah, I didn't realize you have to wear a hat. You know what my hat is? It's a bow. Anyways, you also have to wear a dress and I have three options. So let me show you them all. I do think I just broke it trying to put it on, but I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I do feel, oh my gosh, I don't like it at all, actually. <laughs> this is the second dress, and I do feel like it's way too summery for right now because it is raining outside, but I'm still gonna try it on. You know what? I did think I was gonna hate it because it's yellow, but I actually think I like it more than the first one. I actually do kind of like this dress. Okay, I think this is my favorite. You know what? I actually am finding it really hard to decide between the yellow one and this one. I do feel like the yellow one's way too summery for today because, like, this is the weather right now, and it's not really giving summer dress vibes. You know what? I think this one does wear. Anyways, I need to choose shoes now. The two options, we've got these shoes and these boots. I'm gonna try on the loafers first. This is the dress with the loafers and I actually really like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I do. Should I even try on the boots? I'm gonna try them on. I hate them. I hate them. Okay, the loafers are back on. I think I'm gonna wear a cardigan. Probably won't have this done up. A little 360 of the outfit. I just hope I made the right decision. I get ready me to go to the horse races for the first time. I can't lie, it's not really something I've ever really wanted to go to. I even grew up horse riding and I never really cared about the races. But I do think that's because we used to always save all the retired racehorses. While they're racing, they're actually treated really well. It's just afterwards, a lot of them can be put down. 
straight after retiring. Yes, some of my friends are going, so I was just like, okay, I'll come. It'll be interesting to see what it's actually like. But anyways, one thing about the races is that you have to really dress up. You have to wear a dress and a hat. But I can't lie, I'm not wearing any hats. I think a dress is enough for me. I actually had to buy dresses for this event as well. I just don't really wear dresses and I never really have. And today we have to wear one and I'm so... Oh, I just really don't like how they look on me. Because I'm really tall, most dresses are way too short for me. And the long dresses just make me look really long. I do have three dresses to choose from, but I just haven't tried any of them on. I think it's just because I'm scared that I'm not going to like any. As long as I like one of them, I think I'll be alright. I do have a feeling though that at least one of them doesn't fit me. If none of them fit, then I'm just not going. Also, I got a bow, so technically that can place the hat thing and they can't really complain because look how big this bow is okay my makeup is done so i'm gonna try putting the ribbon now right i don't know if this makes me look like a two-year-old or if it looks nice anyways now i need to get changed so let's hope one of these dresses fits me i finally figured out where the sun is in the uk it comes out at seven o'clock in the morning why is it so bright and why is it just so hot right now i understand why people wake up early here now but i just i could never it's starting to feel like summer because i'm opening my window i don't think i've been able to open my window in london yet because it's usually always freezing anyways get ready with me to go on the podcast and i've actually been on this podcast before but the episode i was in never got aired so i actually get a chance to refill my episode which is kind of good most of the time when i speak it doesn't really make sense and i don't know what that is it could be the adhd it could just be because i'm just stupid i've actually woken up today in a really oversharing mood which is kind of dangerous for a podcast because i have a feeling i'm gonna I end up oversharing and then i'm gonna regret it later and then there's nothing that i can do about it can't wait to tell you whose podcast i'm going on to because i've known her for so long now and so i actually feel comfortable speaking to her let's just hope i don't overshare too much i just have a feeling that i'm going to anyway anyways i need to shut up because i'm actually running out of time now there's some stuff that i want to talk about on this podcast that i haven't actually put out online yet i am a little bit scared but i'm gonna do it anyway i just realized my car's outside and i still haven't done my hair so i think i'm just gonna have to do braids or something all right my makeup is done now i need to quickly braid my hair my hair's done and it definitely looks awful from the back but oh well now i need to get changed okay i think i'm gonna wear these leggings with this top i'm really going up me though they're like yoga pants so i need to fold them down again okay oh my gosh okay i'm gonna change these baby hoops into my bigger ones yes i'm also gonna put on a ring and a bracelet i think yeah man look how good that is anyways i need to go so wish me luck and let's hope i don't get cancelled Woohoo! he is already not in the mood to be held right now but i'm gonna show you cake's little house and all the stuff that i got him i am a little bit scared for this because i know that people on tiktok can be so horrible hopefully i did everything right anyways let's show you come on cakey let's show them i'm gonna look like a crazy cat lady for this but i bought him like a little play area he's not trapped in it like he can come in and out this is one of his beds and he never uses it moving on he's got this little tunnel thing he actually got given that by the vets i just thought it was cute so i just decided to keep it also he's got a bunch of random toys that are around the house so if you see little balls and stuff that's why i almost forgot about this but he's got this like little area honestly i bought it as a bed he actually just uses my bed so it's kind of just a scratching post okay now let's go downstairs where is he oh he's there let's go downstairs little kitty here he comes oh <laughs> okay so this is the living room first of all he's got his massive cat tower that he doesn't know how to get up on yet just to show you how big it is i'm 5'9 almost 5'10 and this is it next to me he can jump down until here and then he gets confused jump down i think he's gonna jump Whee! see it's so easy he loves these ball things though you love it i know you do anyways let me show you his other litter tray when he gets older i think he's literally gonna live on that but anyways my other litter tray is the most expensive thing i've ever bought for a cat honestly it was worth every penny though when i tell you he loves this he loves this litter tray he will run from upstairs to come do his business in this one also auto clean so you just press this button but yeah that's all his stuff also that's his carrier and his car seat don't even ask about the car seat. But yeah, that's my little baby stuff in my house. Yeah.
somehow I managed to smash my phone. I don't know how it happened. Actually, I did. It fell off my bed. Anyways, I need to get a new phone anyway, and I feel like this was my final sign to get one. So get ready of me to get a new phone, I guess. I didn't realize this, but apparently the bigger phones have a better battery. When I tell you I am awful at charging my phone, the only time I charge my phone is when it's dead. I feel like my phone constantly is on 5% or 10%. I can't lie, it's never really more than 20%. Apart from that, one thing I've never done is lost my phone. Like, I just have no idea how people get their phones stolen. To be honest, I can't even talk because I've left my phone in some really weird places and luckily I found it again. It's just every time I've been to a festival, I've put it down on the floor for some reason and I've just left it there. For some reason, it's always by the toilets, but it's never in the toilet. I don't know if I drop it or if I just put it on the floor. I don't know what I'm doing. One festival was at London and I didn't realise I'd lost it for like 20 minutes. And somehow after 20 minutes, I managed to find it again. And then the other one surprised me so much, but the other time was in South Africa. Everyone who lives there that I know has had their phone stolen at least once on a night out. And I actually have no idea how long I left that for. And when I realised I'd lost it, when I went to go back and find it, it was literally just in the middle of the floor in the sand. Also, look how good my lashes are looking right now. I need to show you what I'm using. I think we all know who Heather's, but she's basically got a lash serum. I've been using this every night and I feel like it's actually really making a difference. I generally feel like my lashes are so much longer and I've only been using it for like a week. Look how good my lashes look. Also, this is not sponsored by the way. I don't think she has any idea that I'm doing this. But yeah, if you have short lashes like me and you need to grow them, Lash CEO it is. I literally have no idea why I did my makeup for this, but let's go get a new phone. Guys, I'm on my way to the vet. It's my kitten's first time and I can just tell he's gonna hate it. Anyways, I need to put him in his little cat carrier. He also hates his cat carrier, which is not. Can you go? No, you hate it. I didn't realise you can get cat Ubers. Like, you can bring your cat in the Uber with you. Okay, let's get him in the car. You're welcome. Hey, baby. Okay, guys, he weed in the car. But I thought he was going to poo, so that's better. I made it to the vets, but I don't know how to get in. Okay, let's go. Oh, I can't get in. Ah, I went to the wrong door. This is the actual door. <laughs> okay, little baby. You ready? Get that for you. Smells lovely. Okay, we're back from the vet. She gave me two things. One of them was an eye ointment for his eye. And I also got some worming treatment because you always got to deworm your kittens. It's just safer to do it than not do it, if that makes sense. I think I'm going to do his eyes first. I know, Bubba. Are you ready to hate me, Bubba? I know. I know. I know, Bubba. I know. It's okay. No, I know. Oh, he hates me. He's still purring though, but we're not done here. We're still going to do the worming treatment. So come back, little kitty. Okay, I'm going to do it really quickly. You ready? Open. I know. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. That's enough for today. Because he now hates me so much. Usually, I'm going to cry, but I'm going to smother it and stop crying. Usually, I don't really film this stuff. Because... Number one, I can't talk when I cry. <laughs> a lot of people think ADHD is just like running around and then suddenly falling asleep or like being lazy or whatever. What people don't know is ADHD is like you want to do stuff, you want to do everything. And then when you try and do it, you have this happen because you feel so overwhelmed and you feel like you can't do it well enough. Mm. <laughs> I feel like it's my job because I feel like no one talks about anything anymore online because everyone ends up getting hate but still i just want to make people feel like you're not alone and you're allowed to feel overwhelmed i just want to show people know how put together you look it doesn't mean you always are <laughs> and it doesn't mean they always are like if you see someone you're like oh my gosh they really have their life together it doesn't mean they always feel like they do but yeah you're allowed to have off days and you're allowed to have little wobbles and cry it's normal i just want to make people feel less alone and that Everyone is going through it. They just don't want to show everyone because it makes them look weak. Can't lie, I've been having second thoughts about this, but I'm just going to do it. Also, ignore all this serious stuff over his face. He went to the vets and they needed to check if he had eye ulcers. He does not, thankfully, but he is now stained yellow. A couple days ago, I got given the Rode phone case. You're probably like, oh my goodness, why aren't you keeping this? Well, it doesn't fit my phone. I don't want to just waste it and just for it to sit in my room. So I was like, why don't I just give it away to one of you guys? If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Hailey Bieber phone case. And you're also probably like, well, what's the point of having the phone case if you don't have the lip gloss? I'm giving you the lip gloss too, don't worry. So yeah, if you want a phone case that holds your lip gloss, and let's be honest, who doesn't want that then? All you got to do is follow my Instagram and DM me, say that you've done it, and then boom. Phone case with a lip gloss on it. I'm gonna say to mine in like a week. I'm already so jealous because I'm so sad this doesn't fit my phone. Guys, I just realized I haven't told my mum I have a kitten and I have no idea how she's gonna react to this. Like, I can't lie, I'm a little bit scared to tell her. I've just been keeping him with me the whole time that he hasn't really met anyone yet. Also, I still haven't named him, so please give me name ideas because I have no idea what to call this little baby. 
Also, he is a boy. I know he looks like a girl, but he is a boy. Anyways, I'm gonna put him in his little bed. I remember I briefly brought it up to her that I might be getting a kitten a couple months ago. But I generally think she thought I was joking. So yeah, I actually have no idea how she's gonna react to this. Don't know how I've managed to do this, but I've managed to keep this a secret from literally everyone I know. Like even my siblings don't even know I have a cat. But yeah, I'm telling them all today that so I finally don't have to keep him a secret anymore. Also, my parents are divorced, so my dad's not gonna be there. So I think I'm just gonna FaceTime him. I think my dad's gonna be the one who's most surprised by this. I haven't mentioned getting a cat once to him. Today is definitely gonna be an interesting day. This could either go really well or really wrong. But yeah, I'm still excited for them to meet him and for him to meet new people. Okay, makeup is done. Now I need to go get changed. I have no idea what to wear because I need to look responsible because I am now a cat mum. Okay, I'm thinking like dungarees. I know it's a bit out there, but I'm trying them, okay? And then with like a tank top underneath. I don't know if this was the right move to make. I kind of look like I'm on a farm. I so badly want to look good in them though. Ugh, I think I might just wear them anyways. Oh well. I am gonna change my earrings though. I'm gonna swap the tiny hoops with my big ones. Put the rest of my jewelry on and I am ready to go. Okay guys, wish us luck. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Get ready of me to take little baby to the vet. He's unwell at the moment. I'm pretty sure he's got conjunctivitis. Can you see that in his eye? It's like all like gunky. Hopefully the vets can help this little baby out. I'm gonna put him on the bed so he can have a little nap. So I gave him a little bath this morning. That's why he's super fluffy. Anyways, little buddy, you can have a nice sleep. Okay, I can't lie. I literally have 10 minutes to get ready because I kind of forgot what time the vet's appointment was. And I thought it was an hour ahead than I actually was. Turns out it's in half an hour and I live 20 minutes away. Depending on what the vets say, I might be going to my grandma's after because her cat passed away not that long ago and she loves cats. So I've decided to make her my designated babysitter for when I go away because obviously I do travel a lot because of work and also because I just like to travel. Before you guys start shouting, well, why did you get a kitten? Well, when I am home, I'm home for quite a while and I also stay in my house 24 seven. But obviously when I am away, I do need someone to look after him and I want it to be someone that I can actually trust. And so I've chosen my granny Susie because I know she can actually look after a cat. Because she's gonna be my cat sitter, I want him to meet her early on just so he can get used to her and feel comfortable around her. So I can also be there while he does that. But yeah, today is the vets. So that's definitely gonna traumatize him a little bit. Or maybe he'll just love it. I just already know he's gonna hate the vets. Finally finished my makeup so i can finally do my hair and get changed honestly i think i might just do my hair in braids anyways i'll come back after i've done my hair i'm kind of liking the braids at the moment i don't know actually maybe i hate them i'm just looking at myself in the mirror i think i'm literally just gonna wear jeans and a t-shirt come on i'm not trying to impress anyone unless my vet is hot okay i just had to wake up little baby from his nap so hopefully he's oh actually i think he's still sleeping hopefully he stays asleep on the way to the vet hopefully he's okay I don't know why, but I've been getting so many comments telling me I look like Leah Holton, and I don't see it. But then I thought, maybe I could look like her, so I'm gonna do her makeup routine. I don't do eyeliner, so I'm just gonna have to try. I think the only similarities is that we have brown hair and brown eyes. I'm just one of those people that for some reason looks like everyone. I could name about 10 TikTokers that people say I look like every day. The one I get the most though is Charlie D'Amelio, and that one's the only one that I see it a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna use the flawless filter first. Also, this is basically my makeup routine. I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit for my makeup to look like hers. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury concealer and I actually think this is one of my favorite concealers. Liz got a tiny nose and I do not so we will be contouring my nose a lot today. Everyone in my family has tiny noses and for some reason I just don't. By the way I used the shade Stoked for the milk contour. Of course I'm using another Charlotte Tilbury product and it's the bronzer. With my nose contour I literally just draw a little circle at the end of my nose. I'm using the Rare Beauty blush in shade Bliss. If you're wanting to get a liquid blush get this one. I usually put fake freckles everywhere but today I'm only putting them on my nose. The freckle pen that I use is called the Lottie pen. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of highlight and then I'm gonna try to do my eyeliner. Okay, wish me luck. I think that's the best I can do. Bearing in mind I don't do eyeliner, I think this is okay. Right, now time for lashes. I probably should have cut them before, but oh well. Time for eyeshadow and it kind of looks like she just puts a bronzer on her eyes. I don't know if you're supposed to curl fake lashes, but I did it anyway. Anyway, now for mascara. Lips, I'm gonna use the Refi lip liner in shade Born. I've never used this one before. This is the closest shade I could find to her on. Okay, my makeup is all done, now for hair. I never have my hair like this, but she usually just has it down and straight. Okay, this is the makeup with some better lighting and I don't know. Let me know what you think. I do kind of like having my hair straight down. I didn't like it at first, but I think I do like it. I see like the eyes and the hair, but apart from that, I just don't really see it. I don't know. Come with me to go get my new kitten and I'm so excited. I've got his little cat carrier here, so let's get in the car. Guys, you don't understand how excited I am. We just got here and now we're parking. Need to grab his little bag. I know they're gonna look at me and think I'm absolutely crazy for this though. Guys, we can't remember what flat number they're in. So we're kind of just outside waiting. Hello? Hello. Well, officially yours. 
We feel so bad because we're taking him away from his family and I feel so evil. We're gonna start driving. I've given him some little treats. Is he choking? No, he's eating. <laughs> We've stopped to get him some water. I just got some water from the gas station. Okay, I think I've done it. And all you gotta do is press this button, I'm pretty sure. And it comes out, woohoo! Guys, he's so chill now. Okay, we're going into the left. We almost hit him, maybe. He accidentally pooed himself, but he's okay now. Get ready of me to go pick up my baby. And I know what you're thinking. You got a baby? Well, yes and no, because this baby is a kitten. I've been trying to keep this a secret for so long now. This whole time, all I've been wanting to do is talk about this kitten and I've had to just keep my mouth closed. And now I can finally talk about him. And I wasn't actually supposed to pick him up until Sunday, but they messaged me today saying that I could go pick him up today. Also, don't worry, I have everything set up for him. I've done so much research the past couple months. So fingers crossed I've done everything right. But yeah, this is going to be my first pet and I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also really happy. I also live alone, so it'll be nice to share my house with someone. But yeah, we have one problem though. So the owners have called him Cookie. I might just keep the name, but I don't know. I want to have other ideas as well, so please give me some. Because I can't lie, I'm not great with giving names. My first cat at my mum's house was called Gucci. I have no idea why my mum let me name her that. But yeah, anyways, I don't want to make the same mistake as I did with her. This time, I am now asking for help. It's actually an hour drive from me, so I'm getting my friend to drive me to go pick him up. I got him his little basket to go pick him up in, and I also got him a car seat. Might have gone a little bit over the top, but honestly, I just want him to be a happy little kid. And I'm so excited to be a little cat mum. Anyways, I'm ready to go. And by the way, quick outfit check this is from white fox and i'm actually obsessed with it and i also got this little cardigan from brandy melville to wear with it i actually think it's so cute and i also got a little matching scrunchie in my hair to match with it i wasn't going to show you this now because i'm going to show you everything together but i can't help it because it's so cool look at his little cat carrier <laughs> he's got a little water bottle and a little food bowl i put some toys in there some blankets and yeah Let's go get the kitten. Get rid of me while I tell you how I got pepper sprayed and had a homeless lady pour milk all over me. Whenever I tell my friends this story, I actually feel like an insane person because most people don't usually get pepper sprayed without a good reason. So whenever I'm telling people that I got pepper sprayed, their first reaction is like, oh my gosh, she must be crazy or she's done something extremely bad for this to have happened to her. Anyways, this happened on a night out. And by the way, I know what I did was stupid, but hey, basically this fight broke out outside of the club. Now, I don't know if anyone else used to do this as a kid, but when my parents used to argue, I used to run in there and I was like stop only because I didn't want anyone to get hurt well my brain has decided to take this into adulthood it was towards the end of the night and I was coming out of the club because I wanted some fresh air and so I saw these two guys fighting and I decided to just run into it this happened in South Africa in Cape Town they have these guys that just stand on the road that basically are like security one thing they do have is two cans of pepper spray and a gun and so obviously one of these security guys has seen the spike and he's gone to take out his pepper spray to go spray it at these two guys and I decide to come out of nowhere and he sprays it directly into my eyes to be honest it did break up the fight because i had dropped down to the floor after this pepper spray hits me and i've just started screaming also by the way it didn't hit anyone else it just hit me which was great luck for me anyways at this point i had blacked out because of the pain and so everyone's trying to talk to me and i'm just not replying i'm just screaming lying on the floor in a ball while everyone was confused this homeless lady comes up and is like guys she's been pepper sprayed we need milk so i'm like okay now i'm jumping into survival mode and so i get up and i run to the nearest store that i can see and so i I just pick up a bottle of milk. I don't know how I saw it. And this homeless lady just grabs the milk out of my hands and just starts pouring milk all over me. When I tell you I am on my knees and this lady is pouring milk into my eyes. I don't know how long she was pouring milk on me for, but there was another homeless man that was just standing in the background. And I think my cousin had put her phone down for like a second. And obviously he'd picked up this phone to go steal. He was just standing there with my cousin's phone and my friend goes to him, are you stealing my friend's phone? And he looks at all of us and he's just like, and just gives it back and walks away. So yeah, that was a bit strange. Anyways, apart from that, the homeless lady was literally amazing and I just wish I could find her to go say thank you, but I was obviously blind. At least I know now that if anyone gets pepper sprayed, I can help them because I just need to pour milk all over them. And hopefully this doesn't happen, but if any of you guys get pepper sprayed, just pour milk over you and know that you're gonna be fine. Just need a homeless lady to pour milk on you. But yeah, that's how I got pepper sprayed in South Africa.